discussion, but I think, you know, the country has to get it together on this. This is what contributes to and sustains the culture of violence more than anything else. And it's a struggle that's always been with us. I mean, what we're really talking about here is the human relationship with non-human species and, the, you know, largely chemically mediated relationships with plants. You know, this is really what's going on. These drugs, naturally occurring drugs, are, 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 are chemical messengers. And, you know, and the crack wars of today and the spice wars of the 17th and 18th centuries are the same thing. They're the human relationship with plant secondary chemicals. And somehow we have to, uh, you know, come to uh, some level of comfort with this relationship. And I think that's where the, the plant hallucinogens can play a role, uh, more so, say, than the other quote-unquote drugs of abuse. Because the plant, you know, these are all buzzwords. What is drug abuse? You know, I mean, drug abuse is what you, what, what certain agencies define it to be in a certain sense. I mean, if you say, well, drug abuse, you know, if you use a hallucinogen, LSD, mushrooms, whatever, which has no recognized medical use, then by definition, any use of that substance, whether you take it once a, a month or once a week or once in your lifetime, is by definition abuse. Well, that's patently ridiculous. I mean, that's obviously not drug abuse, not in any rational context of saying it. I mean, I mean, to my mind, you know, drug abuse is a chronic compulsive use uh, of a substance or, you know, and in that context probably the most abused thing around is television. Uh, you know, a lot of people have a hard time staying away from that. So anyway, that's my two cents worth of time. Do we have the slide ready for the I, I'd also like to bring up something quick about uh, drugs in the ghettos and that. Tim Leary mentioned a few years ago that drugs in the ghettos are not the problem. Mm -hmm. that these kids were robbing, mugging, uh, beating, car stealing, and shooting people and raping people long before they were doing any drugs. And it's a lot of it's like the criminal control and role models in you know, areas of the world. Someone has put a note in front of us. They say, I would like to mention the crimes of the officers at Nixon's funeral. <laughs> they had canine searches three, in a three mile radius from the occasion. A gentleman named Peter Pan has seen <laughs> Nixon's body. <laughs> <laughs> Person wants to talk about it or wants to talk <laughs> it. Does, it does provide a chance to mention, I don't know if other people have, but I find it a rather sweet irony that uh, here we are on the day after Nixon's funeral. Uh, Richard Nixon is dead. Thank you. Long live Richard Nixon. Long live the king. King Richard. Being gone. The Los Angeles Microbiological Society is going to uh, present their slides. Okay, thank you.